I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up a free virtual card in a matter of minutes, so let's get started. What you wanna do is connect to privacy.com. This is where you can control where, when, and how much you can be charged. And I'm about to explain it thoroughly in just a second. But for the most part, this video is gonna be a practical guide. Now, you might be wondering, why would I even want to create a virtual credit card? What's the use for that? But in reality, there are quite a few different use cases. For instance, if you're somebody who wants to protect themselves online, who really cares about their security and the security of their funds, then creating a virtual card is pretty much mandatory. And here is why. Let's just say you've connected to a website, an e-commerce store, for instance, and you want to place an order, you want to make a purchase. Well, you will be asked to enter in your credit card details, right? But perhaps you don't really trust the website and you don't want to do that. That's precisely where a virtual credit card is going to come in handy. You see, the virtual card you will set up on privacy.com will be linked to your actual debit or credit card. But instead of having to use your real credit card details, you're just going to use these that show up on your virtual card. I hope that makes sense. And you will never be charged extra because you can even set spending limits. You can also monitor your spending which is great if you're budgeting. And at the end of the day, it's just a first step process that I'm about to walk you through. First and foremost, you're gonna create this virtual card directly from privacy. Then you can set a spend limit on each transaction. And that is an important thing to do. Moving on, you're gonna organize your virtual cards and ultimately you get to track your spendings. So let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna click on this button that says get started and I'll be back in a second. What we wanna do right now is set up a new account by entering in your basic details, but this is gonna be effortless. First off, you need to enter in an email address and a password. So let me do just that. But now guys, you gotta make sure to use a valid email address because they will send you a confirmation code. You can just click on this button that says confirm your email address and that will take you straight over to your dashboard. And this is where the fun begins basically. Once you have created your account, you wanna create your first privacy virtual card. So here's how you do that. You gotta click on this blue button and that will take you straight over here. We can finish signing up. But guys, we really want to customize this card because that's the whole point about using privacy.com. The fact that we can have everything in one place and we can organize our spendings. Let me show you a few clear examples. What you can do right now is add a nickname to your card, add a total spend limit and even a funding source. Now this is going to be really important because you have to link your actual credit or debit card to the virtual one to issue payments. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure that is pretty self-explanatory. So let me finish signing up and show you what's on the other side. And by the way, guys, when it comes to the nickname, you can do a few different things. You can either create one from scratch or you can choose a popular card, which will also be customized as you can spot. For instance, if you want to use this particular virtual card in order to issue payments to Netflix, basically paying your monthly subscription, you can do that easily. All you got to do is click on Netflix right here. That will add the nickname and the logo. You can save it and then you can set your monthly limit. And this is an important one, actually. Let's just say that you're paying $19 for the monthly Netflix subscription, right? I think the price is somewhere around that region. Well, what you can do is set your spend limit at about $20 so that they cannot double charge you or upgrade you to another subscription plan. And so if you're supposed to pay $19 per month on Netflix, that's precisely how much you're gonna pay. Then you wanna choose the first option, this is per month. Alternatively, you can also go for a spend limit that you set per year, per transaction, or you can even set one in total. So let me click on this button and save my changes. I'm going to create the card right now and I'm good to go. Moving on, you need to also complete your profile by submitting all of the necessary information. So let's do that right now. I'm going to use this for myself. And then you have to tell them a little bit more about yourself, such as your legal first name, middle name, last name, and date of birth. So let me fill that in and I'll be back in a second. They will also ask you for some other details, such as your street address and your zip code. The last four digits of your social security number are also going to be required here. But as you can see, this is a credit check and it won't affect your credit score. Then you also got to enter in your phone number and you should be good to go. That will send you a confirmation text that you have to fill in. Moving on, you have to connect the funding source, agree with their terms, and ultimately make your first purchase with privacy. So we are almost there, but there is actually more to it than that. Let me show you something. If you go over to the cashback section, something really interesting is gonna show up. You can actually get 1% cashbacks on every purchase you make with a privacy card. And so not only are you going to increase the level of security whenever you make an online purchase, 
but you can potentially also receive 1% of your money back. And as they say, a penny saved is a penny earned. So I see that as a huge advantage. There you have it. Whenever you make a purchase using the privacy card, you will get 1% of the value of that transaction back as privacy credit. And you can even get paid for bringing your friends here. Take a look at this. You can get $5 privacy credit whenever people sign up and spend. They will also get $5 to spend anywhere online. And so not only are you getting that bonus, but your friend is also going to get a bonus for joining the platform through your link. So it's a win-win situation. They also get to set up the virtual credit card and use it. So you are genuinely helping them out. You can either enter in your friend's email address right here and send them an email or you can just copy your referral link and start sharing that through WhatsApp or whatever other app you're using. But guys, hold up, there are a few more things worth mentioning here. We are not done just yet. If you go over to the pricing section, you're gonna notice these guys have got three different plans. The first one of them is the so-called personal one that is absolutely free and you can use it forever. In other words, you will be able to create up to 12 different cards on a monthly basis and most of us do not need more than 12 cards. And so for me personally, the first option is just the best one. And of course, you get to set spend limits, pause and close cards, and so on and so forth. But if you want to upgrade, you can go for the pro package that's going to cost you $10 per month. What does it offer? Well, that 1% cashback feature on your purchases, and you can create a lot more cards, up to 36 per month. Or if you want to go for the Teams one, that's $25 a month, and you can set up a bunch of different cards pretty sure that most people will benefit from the first one or the second one the most. So you're free to choose your favorite. And in case I have not mentioned it yet, unfortunately privacy.com is only available in the United States right now. And so if you live outside the US, you will not be able to set up a virtual credit card. But we can find a way around it. If you guys perform a quick Google search, typing in privacy.com alternatives, you're gonna find all of these different options. We're talking about Skrill, Neteller, Payoneer, and so on and so forth. And if you want to make sure it is available in your country, what you want to do is search for privacy.com alternatives available worldwide. And there you go. And guys, I literally almost forgot about this. Here's another great use case for a virtual credit card. You see, I'm pretty sure that most of you are familiar with the way audible.com works, right? This is a place where you can grab all sorts of different audiobooks that you can listen to. And I personally love that experience. However, guys, if you wanted to get the Audible Premium Plus subscription plan, that is going to cost you about $15 per month. But here's the thing about it. There's also going to be a free 30-day trial, and the same thing can be said about the Audible Plus subscription plan. What does that mean? Well, you can start the free trial right now by entering in your details. But among your details, Audible is also going to ask you for your credit card credentials, right? And that's the thing. After your trial expires, your subscription will be automatically renewed, and so it is going to charge you $15. Now, if you pay attention to it, that is not going to happen. But if you forget about it, which is understandable, it is going to automatically charge that amount from your account. And you can prevent that from happening by setting up a virtual credit card and then setting a limit, a spend limit, of about $14. That way, even if Audible tries to make that purchase, they will not be able to because you've just set the limit and you have added another layer of protection. And this strategy can be implemented in order to try any free trial out there on the internet. You can repeat the same exact process, enter your virtual credit card details and you're good to go. You don't actually have to risk being charged extra automatically. And so guys, at this point, you've got all the resources you need to make this work. I want you to go out there, set up your free virtual card and let me know what you think about it. That's it for now and thanks for watching.